Well, it sure was a cold start this morning. Temperatures were below freezing 29 degrees at Savannah Airport. Augusta, one of the normally colder locations in the south, 24 this morning. In this afternoon, though, it was fairly nice getting up to around 60, even though we had some high clouds coming in. You notice there's a little band of green off to the northwest. Let's take a closer look at that. A lot of this probably isn't even reaching the ground. At the worst, there might be a sprinkle out there somewhere, and that's the most we could possibly see out of this week's system that's coming through tonight. We're mainly just going to see a band of clouds passing through later tonight, and then we're back into the sun for tomorrow. But further north, there's a little more moisture to work with. Showers from North Carolina, Virginia, and you go far enough north, it's cold enough for snow. Nothing like the snow they just had in the northeast. This is a much weaker system as it moves off to the east. Let's track your next three days now. Here come the clouds for tonight. And through the wee hours of the morning, our skies will be mostly cloudy. And at worst, again, there might be a passing sprinkle. It'll be while you're sleeping, and as you wake up, the sun will be back out for the entire day, it looks like. So a nice sunny Friday. Saturday, we're tracking sunshine again with high clouds approaching from the west. And then as we go through Sunday, we're going to see more of these clouds moving into the area, but it's looking more like we should stay dry through the end of the day Sunday. We've been talking about maybe some shower chances before the end of the day Sunday. Looking more likely that holds off until Sunday night. So that bodes well for your weekend plans all the way through Sunday. Let's look at that weekend forecast in more detail. A little chilly on Saturday as temperatures cool back down to the 50s for highs. But then on Sunday, we see a high of 65. We'll have some sun, but also we'll see clouds on the increase. But it's definitely going to be milder as we head through Sunday. And tonight's going to be warmer, too, because of the clouds coming in. We're not going to be anywhere near freezing late tonight. Now, we're starting off in the low to mid-50s, but as we go through the evening and the overnight, these temperatures are going to drop more slow than last night. So you'll still need a jacket. It's not going to be as cold, certainly not as quickly as it was last night. When we wake up, it'll be about 44 degrees, partly cloudy skies. First thing tomorrow, going to all clear very quickly, and we'll have a high right back up to about where we were today, around 60. Now, tomorrow night, we'll cool off fast. It'll be another cold night with temperatures dipping down to around freezing. Here are your tides tonight. We'll have a low tide late this evening, a high tide in the middle of the night out of Tybee. Meanwhile, on the water, the wind and seas are going to be variable here the next couple of days. As the wind direction goes to the northeast on Saturday, that's going to cause the seas to be rougher, but then they'll be a little more calmer on Sunday, so that may be the better day for your boating plans if you have them this weekend. Now let's plan your next seven days. We are tracking sunshine to start the weekend. I do think Sunday is going to end up being a pretty good day. We'll see more clouds coming in, and as we get the sunny evening, we'll start to see a chance of showers coming in from the west. On Groundhog Day, we'll start off with a chance of a shower early, and then we'll look at clouds giving away the sunshine for the afternoon, the high around 60. Then it turns a little bit cooler as we get into Tuesday. It also looks like we'll have a good chance of rain coming up sometime later Wednesday into Thursday. All right, keep it right here. We've got sports coming up next.